This beam is 21 feet long and it's a beam that I sawed and it will be the main opening beam. I've cut a notch that's two and a half inches deep and it goes back six inches and that will let me to lap this beam where my mallet is to lap over that and rest on top of the big beam which this very end will be sitting on top of one of the posts but I'll be able to set this up there just to be able to set it and then I'll make kind of a gun post stock type thing underneath that that will rest against and be bolted to the post which will actually support the end of this beam. I've got this laid out and ready to cut. I went ahead and scored my lines. I'm going to cut this with, a, with my chainsaw. I think that'll work. Okay, we've got all three of the beams on the back side ready to go. They're all cut. I've got two holes drilled here and countersunk for some lag bolts to go down through this little overlap in to this beam right here. I've got a board screwed on the tops of these posts to kind of let the beam just slide over. We don't want it falling off on us. It's pretty heavy, but that'll give us something to anchor the beam to the post temporarily then we'll put another one on the on the other side <laughs> better quit because I don't want to start bouncing and coming back which is what I did it bounced back on me I've got to hit that light tap okay I'm okay here if you want to watch that
Is it touching yet? But it is touching though. Yeah. Okay, it's bottomed out. Okay. We're starting to put our tie beams in. We've got a couple of them in. These are a five by eight. They're not really carrying any weight other than what they weigh. It's to tie the back beams across to the front beams. Now, we don't have the beams on the front of the, the shed up yet. I wanted to tie all of these uh, front posts to the back before we did that. If you look, I've got a, a two by six block screwed on to the post itself underneath them. That is a temporary thing. We will take those off. I think we're going to cut some gun stock blocks to put up there to make it look like a gun stock post. This beam is just really carrying what it weighs. And we may go ahead and put some Y braces up there, knee braces, some people call them, to uh, just give that a little bit more stability. We're ready to raise this tie beam up. I didn't have much room back behind the tractor to to get positioned very well. So we may have to slide it one way or the other. It's not very heavy, so we'll be able to get it up. The beam that goes across here is a six by 13 and a half inch beam. And the total length of it would be 21 feet, which will give us 20 feet clearance in between the post. And we had, as we've done on the back, it's the same. But I did want to have those posts definitely tied to the back before we set that beam up there, because that's gonna be a pretty good lift the tractor actually won't lift that high so we'll have to rig up something to get that beam up there and we will feel very relieved once that beam is up there and locked down okay we're getting ready to set this big beam it's a six by 13 and a half which will span the the front opening it's the heaviest beam we've got to lift so far and we had to uh, enlist the help of a john deere over poor old uncle tweety this tractor will lift higher. We're going to see what we can do about getting this setting up on top of these posts. They are 10 foot from the top of the post to the ground, so it's a pretty good lift and a pretty heavy beam. It's up there. <laughs> Thank the Lord it's up there. Went smooth, flush on the end, on the top of the post. And we're ready now to cut this timber for length. We didn't want to cut it beforehand. That's what we did yesterday. We pulled off on top of the tie beam. We pulled diagonals over to that, that far corner. We did that in both directions, and believe it or not, it was absolutely square up there, and we were really thrilled about that. But on this front, with these two posts right here, this one and that one there that the beam rests on, we weren't sure if they were leaning, could be have leaned just a little bit one direction or the other, and we needed our exact length on top of the beams going over to this post so we decided to wait and measure that from that post over to our beam to get the longer six by eights and did the same thing on the other end measure from the end of the beam to that corner post then we can cut that beam there to the exact length